Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to put out 31 horror movie reviews like I had originally planned. But hopefully you've enjoyed the reviews I have put out. But to make it up to you guys, I'm going to make a list of my top 10 horror movies of all time. I'll just be honest, beyond the number one spot, which is Concrete, this is my favorite one, the rest, they're kind of in flux. You know, every time I watch them, I'm like, oh, I like that a little more than this. Or no, maybe I like this a little more than that. You know, so don't consider this necessarily my solidified top 10. Just consider this more 10 of my all-time favorite horror movies. Minus, of course, again, the first one, which is my favorite horror movie. So without further ado, let's start talking about 10 amazing horror movies. Number 10, The Conjuring. I loved this movie when it came out. This is my favorite recent horror movie of all time. Most of these other horror movies are going to be at least from the 90s back. But this movie was amazing. It mastered what makes a great horror movie with suspense. And yes, it has jump scares. Some of you are probably like, wait, it has tons of jump scares. You've belittled that. And I'm like, yes, I have. When it's done poorly. But The Conjuring does it well. Because James Wan, the director, who also directed in series, which is another really good horror movie, he knows how to do jump scares, how to insert them in his movie. He has to build up to it. That way, you're in suspense, you're getting sucked into the movie. So when the jump scare happens, you aren't expecting it as much. Also, he doesn't have false jump scares either. Anyway, The Conjuring is amazing. Definitely check it out if you haven't checked it out already. Number 9 is The Fog by John Carpenter from 1980. To me, this is an extremely underrated horror movie. This is one of the best ghost story horror movies. It is a movie that sends chills up my spine whenever I watch it. This movie is amazing. It has another great Carpenter score. Got great acting, great suspense, and John Carpenter wrote and directed it. What more do you need? Number eight is The Blair Witch Project. I just reviewed that movie on my channel, so definitely check out that video for more thoughts on this movie. From the very beginning all the way to the end, I am with the characters, like I said in the review. It is terrifying, the thought of being lost in the woods, because the woods are already creepy, and then being lost in them with something possibly following you, that is scary as all heck. That is a great independent horror movie. Number seven is the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This movie is amazing. It's just gritty, raw horror. The funny thing is, despite having the title The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, there's no blood in this movie at all. Toby Hooper directed this movie really masterfully, and by mostly implying all the horror, you get more and more scared because you're just picturing in your head what's actually going on. The family of cannibals are creepy. Leatherface, obviously, iconic slasher in the horror pantheon. And also, it's based on a true life serial killer, Ed Gein from Wisconsin, who also inspired Psycho in Silence of the Lambs. Wisconsin, that's uh, pretty close there. Anyway, moving on. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, it's not Scream, but that is my number six movie on this list. I love this movie. I just got to see this in theaters for the first time, which was awesome. This movie kind of pokes fun at the horror tropes while being a loving homage to everything that horror fans love. And it's so much fun to watch. I think it's a perfect meld of horror and comedy. And it still does have some creepy parts, especially the opening scene of this movie. It is one of the best opening scenes to a horror movie of all time. The way it just builds tension and escalates. Kevin Williamson and Wes Craven did a great job on this movie. Number five, John Carpenter's The Thing, a remake of The Thing from the Number World from the 50s. This movie is incredible. It's about these guys in Antarctica who run across a Norwegian base of other scientists who are working down there who have all been killed strangely by something. And the only one left there is a dog who runs to their camp and seems normal at first but then turns out is actually an alien in disguise. An alien that can take shape and form of any living creature. So the suspense builds and builds because the characters in the movie don't really know who's a human or an alien. And this movie is amazing. The way John Carpenter wrote and directed this movie. Again, this guy directs and writes horror really well. He's probably my favorite horror director of all time. Just the isolation and the knowing that you have no real way to get out of there very easily, especially when the helicopter gets destroyed in the middle of the movie. It's a great mystery suspense horror movie. If you have not seen The Thing, definitely watch it. Number four, Jaws. Yeah, Steven Spielberg's classic movie. I reviewed that earlier this year. Spielberg took an idea that could have been a B movie very easily, especially at the time, and made it an A-list classic, and it is still scary even to this day. Just masterful movie. Gotta love that John Williams score as well. Just great, great movie with great characters. Red rum, red rum, red rum. Yeah, it's The Shining, not the stupid TV remake that Stephen King wrote. 
but the original Stanley Kubrick classic. I also got to see this movie in theaters, and seeing this on a big screen was so amazing. It was such an amazing experience. I love that whenever I watch this movie, it's still scary to watch, even though I've seen it multiple times and I know what's going to happen. Because it is great with suspense. The way Kubrick just meticulizes over every shot and every edit, and he does that for every movie he does, this movie really is served well by that because it is still scary to this day because the tension just builds precisely perfectly. Gotta love Jack Nicholson in this role. Here's Johnny! The little boy who plays Danny is an amazing kid actor. I don't know how he never went on to do anything, but he is really good in that movie. What more can I say? It's The Shining. It's a classic. Number two, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Directed by the late, great Wes Craven, this movie is one of the best horror movies in my opinion. Wes Craven just knows how to make his horror movies both scary and fun to watch. And this one is his best movie. The character of Freddy Krueger is so scary but so just kind of fun to watch. Even though in this one he is more seriously scary. Unlike the sequels where he becomes the jokester one-liner guy. This is the genesis to that great iconic character with a great premise. And this is actually the beginning of my favorite horror franchise. So of course I had to put Nightmare on Elm Street on the list. Alright guys, before we get to my number one horror movie. I find it just for us some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list. But I still love anyway. Poltergeist. Fantastic horror movie by Toby Hooper and Steven Spielberg. Psycho. Not my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movie, but it is one of my all-time favorites. It is an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, see it. The twist at the end is, oh, it'll get you. It is really good, really suspenseful. The Omen. The classic original, of course. Directed by Richard Donner. Amazing, suspenseful horror movie about the Antichrist. And I love the mystery behind it because you don't know for the longest time if... All these people who are claiming he's the Antichrist are just crazy or seeing things, or if he might actually be, because there is a lot of weird stuff that happens around this kid. And that's what makes this movie for me. I think it's fantastic. And the score to this movie did get nominated for an Academy Award in 76, which is awesome. This is back when the Academy actually worked at horror movies. There was a time, folks. I know, it's weird. The original Evil Dead. This is actually my favorite of the Evil Dead films. I know, that's blasphemy, right? Not to pick Evil Dead 2. This movie has great atmosphere. I loved some of the stuff Sam Raimi did with this really low-budget movie. And hey, it's also the genesis of Ash, one of the most B.A. characters in all of horror, so. And my last honorable mention, Alien. Didn't quite make the list, but Ridley Scott... One of his best movies, suspenseful, scary, and out of space. And Sigourney Weaver is amazing as the main character, Ripley. Movie suspenseful, the alien is creepy as all hell. Just, it'll scare you even on multiple watching, so definitely watch it. And now, for my number one favorite horror movie of all time, Halloween. Yes, John Carpenter is my favorite horror director of all time. This movie is just amazing. Everything about it. I love the opening. I love the soundtrack. I love the tension that it builds. Just having Michael Myers stalking these girls. And you're always wondering, when is he going to do something? Oh my gosh, what? Is this going to be the time he... Oh, he didn't attack yet. Oh my gosh, what? So that when he does attack, it's even scarier because you've been waiting in anticipation this whole time for something to happen. But it's waiting in a good way, not in a bad way where you're just like, this is horribly paced. Why the hell is going on? This is an amazing horror movie. The score is perfect. One of the best horror scores of all time. And the character of Michael Myers is scary. Jamie Lee Curtis started out her career in this movie and she's great in this movie as well. It's a fantastic horror movie, and that is why it is my number one favorite horror movie of all time. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what your guys' top 10 horror movies of all time are, so post those in the comments. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and have a happy Halloween. <laughs>